So our Heritage Landing Program has, has traditionally been a, a special education day school. Um, serving students at, that have some more significant social emotional needs. Um, these are kiddos that struggle being in a very large environment. The new heritage site is designed to allow us to expand our heritage program. Over the past 10 years or so, we've seen an increase in our kiddos needing um, this level of support. Having a bigger space will allow us to include elementary students. And those kiddos right now are being served in several outside placements throughout the St. Louis area. What we found is it costs approximately $41,000 to send a student out to another school. And then it's a little over $30,000 to transport them to that school every day. Transportation is the area we really zoned in on because transporting our students to Heritage currently is around $3,500 a year. So about a tenth of the cost. Over time, we know that the money that we're um, spending on the site today will be made up in the long run for the district. Whenever we first started exploring the, the needs of expanding, we looked at adding on to the existing building. And the price tag for that came out to be a little over a million dollars. That was our first option. Um, the second was to look for an alternative site. And what we were able to find was a building that would not only benefit the, the Heritage Landing Program, it is approximately 22,000 square feet, which is twice the size of our previous building. The space allows us not to have to use the cafeteria and the multi-purpose room as the same space. Here it's going to be dedicated spaces. This building is also going to allow us to have a large room for professional development in the district. There are more offices and classrooms here. We have 11 classrooms, two very large rooms, and then nine others that will serve various needs. Um, the, the funding for the, the building actually came from some unexpected um, revenue uh, through a financial institution tax. But for the past two years, we've gotten more than anticipated. Um, and that first year, um, it was enough to purchase a building without dipping into the regular operating funds of the district. So we, we looked at that, that funding as something that couldn't be used year after year after year, but it could be used for a, for a, a desperate need that we had in our district to serve our kids. And that's where this idea of pairing that one-time funds with, um, with this need and this building came together.